Suppose we have labeled data. Now we must assess its quality to understand what to expect from models trained on it and to confirm the data is usable. In CVAT, we have an easy way to do this, the honeypot. Here we have a task with 30 annotated images, it includes 3 jobs with 10 images in each. The annotation looks like this. With the honeypot method, we compare actual annotations with the ground truth ones. In CVAT, ground truth annotations for a task reside in a special ground truth job. To set up a ground truth job, click the plus button. You don't need to annotate the whole dataset twice. The annotation quality of a small part of the data will show the quality of annotation for the whole dataset. Depending on the dataset size, 5 to 15% of the data is good enough for quality estimation. We will specify the ground truth job size as a percentage or a number of frames. For example, we have 30 frames in the task, let's add 8 in the frame count field and click submit. The ground truth job opens automatically, let's annotate some data. CVAT will not use annotations from a ground truth job till it is marked as completed. Don't forget to finish the job or change the state of the job to completed. In the jobs list, the ground truth job will be marked with a ground truth label. Ground truth jobs are special. Annotations from such jobs will not be included in the task dataset export, nor will they be imported during task annotations import or with automatic annotation for the task. If you want to import or export this job, use buttons in the job menu. You can also delete a ground truth job if you need to change its parameters. To delete a job, click delete. Quality estimations for the task are available on the task analytics page. The values are not updated instantly, CVAT needs time to process the data. After finishing the ground truth job, wait. You'll find a quality score on the task analysis page. You'll see the final score and metrics for the task. Average annotation quality is a percentage. Number of conflicts. Number of issues below is a table that also provides information for each individual job. Frame intersection. Percentage of overlap between frames and ground truth job. Number of conflicts. Quality of the annotation. In the list, you can find and review the jobs with the most issues. Let's check out the job with the most conflicts first. To view conflicts, switch to review mode, go to the issues tab, and click, show ground truth annotations and conflicts. Use arrows to move between frames with conflicts. To go to the first conflict, click, find the next frame with issues. The workspace shows two boxes with markers for conflicts. Hover over a marker, to see an error message. Here, we have an extra label and a missing one. The dotted line box represents ground truth, as shown in the object info. Errors are also shown in the object sidebar with an error message. Let's move on to the next conflict. Here, a box has two errors, mismatching label and low overlap. Right-click in the workspace to make a quick issue. This shows the error details in the comment right away. The created issue will appear in the quality report. Thank you for using CVAT like, subscribe, share, and happy annotating.